Hello everybody, welcome back to more Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. It's been a long, long time since I last played this because I got addicted to Dark Souls 2 really, really bad. I still am, to be honest. But I've got a desktop, desktop full of parts waiting to go up, so I'm going to do some Monster Hunter. And I know which quest I want to do today, although I do have one thing I want to ask advice about. But still, to ease back in, once again, we're going to be doing On Thin Ice because it's just two Lagombi. And I don't remember Lagombi being particularly threatening, so the fact that there's two of them, even if they're both on the map at the same time, shouldn't be too bad. I've already eaten food as well. So the thing I wanted to talk about in terms of Monster Hunter in general is I'm getting a bit sick of the Rathian armor. And I want to switch into the high rank Rathalos gear, but I don't have access to high rank Rathalos offline. I know I have access to one online, and I could be killing that. Ah, and they are both on the map at the same time, interesting. Makes a change. So the reason I'm bringing this up is, let's pretend I don't have online, because technically right now I don't, because since getting a PS4, that's now using up my other spare Ethernet slot. So my Wii U is currently offline. Uh, but yes, to go back to what I was talking about, I'm getting a bit sick of the Rathian gear. I definitely want to switch to the Rathalos gear, the high rank version, once I get access to it. But what can I use in the interim that's as good as the Rathian gear? Also, I totally forgot. Hot drink. Because, I mean, it gives me a massive buff to healing, uh, uh, health. It makes healing items give back more. Oh, they would be both in the same zone, wouldn't they? I guess I could put my money where my mouth is and take on both of them at once. Let's give that a go. If I get beaten up, I'll dung bomb one of them. Uh, you saw me first, so that means you're first. Yeah, because I'm just curious, is there any other armor that's as good as the Rathian gear that will bridge the gap until I can get into the Rathalos gear? I don't even care if the high rank Rathalos gear is bad, but oh, I need those. Oh, I hate trying to hit these bloody cats. Get back here, you little git. Well, why, why am I stunned? No! I had already been seen by both monsters. That is some bullshit right there. Alright, let's see if I can make this one that I've been wounding move. That's a good dodge if I do... Nope, never mind, that wasn't a good dodge because he came around behind me. Oh yes, I remember Lugumbi's being very irritating with their constant butt surfing and uh, sliding. Oh, so where is the... the cat base on this map? Because I want that hot drink back and it's going to irritate me to no end if I don't get it. I suppose I could consolidate myself... No, that's not the word. Or not the way to phrase that anyway. I can make myself feel better by murdering every single black cat on the map. That would amuse me. Like so. Ow. <laughs> I did block at the last second, but clearly it didn't count. I've also completely lost track of which one I've been hitting. So, I don't know. I guess I'll just smack both of them. When one of them moves, I will either give chase or I will stay and fight the one that hangs around. I mean, that's me definitely full burst twice. Whether or not I full burst the same Lugombi remains to be seen, I suppose. Also, wasn't that hell on potions? Either way. I'm not going to burn through all t uh, all five hot drinks, regardless of whether one gets stolen. It's the principle of the thing, though. I got stolen from, and that dog won't hunt. I'm trying to remember. Oh, the I know where the cat thing is, I'm pretty sure. It's in area one. So I'll go back there when I... Oh, he's leaving. Right, fine. You're the one that's going to get annihilated, then. Another thing, they move around so frequently, getting a wyvern fire on them is going to be a bit of a pain. I'm going to have to knock him over first. Yeah, kind of like what he did to me, but in reverse. He's moving area. Nope, no he's not. He's just getting... Where is he? I don't know. He wasn't aiming for anybody with that. He still isn't really aiming. Are you moving? Are you going to charge me? Also, why do they move around the way they do? I mean, they're based on bunnies, right? So, bunnies don't move around like this. Or are they half bunny, half... Oh, smacked his crown. Oh, or did I break his ear? I don't know. Either way, he dropped something when I broke it. Here, have one of these. Yeah, I didn't think he'd enjoy that. Now, could you kindly get out of the way? I want to see what he dropped. In fact, you, know, you just stay there. I'll just pick it up anyway. Pawprint stamp. Why did, uh, why did breaking the Logombi drop that? Also, what is it? That's right, I'm checking an item in the middle of a fight. Can't play the pop red. But yeah, that's what cats drop when you kill them, isn't it? Oh, they were slime procking on him there. Uh, the food effect I ate, along with having improved ice defense, is... Oh, there's another item. Maybe that was already on the floor and I just didn't see it. And this is actually what he dropped. Yeah, that's what it is. 
yeah, I, along with having better ice defense, better defense, etc., the food I ate also improves the proccing and damage of explosive barrels and also slime attacks. So Kumba and Chacha may actually, you know, be useful. Hello, Lugumbi. Yeah, yeah, I'd be furious as well. I have a habit of saying that when I play Monster Hunter, I noticed. I think I finished my previous discussion, didn't I, before I got distracted by thieving bastard cats. Oh, there's the other Lugumbi. Maybe I should paintball one of them. No, that would make a difference. I'm, I'm thinking if I paintball one of them, I'll know which one I've been hitting, but no, because the psychic thing is essentially a paintball, so I won't be able to tell the difference between the two on the map. Which is a pain. The other Lugombi is neutral, still. Still neutral. Oh, I knocked him over a perfect time for... No, never mind, Waving Fire is not back. There's slime building up on him. We will get a full burst, even if he stands up. Right under his gullet. And he's going to hit me, or... Nope, he's just doing that thing that lets me hit him in the naughty bits, so that's fine. Gives us a chance to reload. Oh, he's poisoned. Excellent. Are you still neutral? Ah, there we go. Now he's not neutral. Oh, really should have been paying attention to the one that was already aggressive, but whatever. Hello there, little fella. Well, at least I know which one to keep track of now. It's the one that's poisoned. Are you leaving? No, you're just going on one. Oh, almost got sat on, but didn't, thankfully. I should be able to get a full burst. Nope, I'm going to get... St oh, it missed! Although I think my full burst missed as well. There we go. I'm totally fine with still using the Rathian gun lines, by the way. It's just the Rathian armor I'm getting a bit sick of looking at. But I don't think anything is going to... I mean, the Rathian armor, it suits my playstyle just as much as the gun lines does. It's a defensive armor set. It gives me more HP. It gives me more HP back when I heal. These are all... Oh, he moved to area 4. Right, let's carry on. These are all things that appeal to the way I play, so... It would, uh, another armor set would have to have really good stats on it for me to change at this point. I don't think the high rank uh, Lugumbi set is going to be it. Where am I going? I'm going this way, aren't I? Yes, I am. But what else have we got in this tier? We've got the the new the new subspecies of Barath. The, what was it? Jade Barath, was it? We've got the new subspecies of Giganox, which is lightning-based, so that might be more my style. I don't know. What else have we got? Basically all the high rank versions of the ice-based monsters, although I don't think there's a Barath in this list. Although, keep in mind again, I'm a bit rusty, so I don't remember. I mean, it says a lot. I, I mentioned this in the Dark Souls 2 video, but I know some people aren't watching that series because they don't want spoilers. Um, I've had a PS4 for a little while now, and I'm still playing my PS3 more because of how good Dark Souls 2 is. That's not to say that the PS4 is bad, because I mean, I really like Infinite Second Son. It's got its faults. Same faults as the other games in the series had, to be honest. But I did like it a lot, and I'm planning on doing a... Well, I've done an evil playthrough, uh, a good playthrough. I need to do the evil playthrough. But I'm kind of waiting until the damn PS4 update lands that takes off HDCP. So that I can actually do a video on it. And I'm looking forward to it. But still, the point I was making is, Dark Souls 2 is so good. I'm playing that to the detriment of my work, for a start. And also, my other series. Well, that's kind of what work is, I guess. Um... But also to the detriment of a brand new console. A next gen console is on the wayside right now. Two of them technically, if you count the Wii U, the Wii U as a next gen, although it is most certainly not. But some people do count it as one, so let's say I've got two next gen consoles at this point. Neither of them are getting played as much because of Dark Souls 2. So, that should say something about how good it is. Well, plus I am, I'm not only just doing the playthrough, I'm also playing it for fun. And I've also been playing it through all over again with a brand new character because I wanted to get footage of me fighting every boss. In fact, as I record this, the video that you've already seen by now, if you don't mind spoilers, of me killing every boss, oh, there's the first one almost dead, of killing every boss will be posted. But that wasn't really the reason I got that footage. The posting the video of me killing every boss was just a byproduct. The reason I got all the footage was because I'm going to do a list video. And I just the other day got CR to produce me some very nice graphics for it that I like a lot. Now he definitely moved, yeah he went through here to cave 5, yeah I hate the way the cave system works in this map, it throws me off, it confuses me, yes that's right I still need a map of every area, I don't memorise them, I haven't played enough hours, he says even though he has 120 in this so far, or maybe it's 130 now, it's a lot either way, although I've already put more into Dark Souls 2 because my main character is what, like 80 hours, the one I'm doing for the playthrough is at 30, 35 maybe, 
and then the one I did for most of the boss kills is also at 30 something. So yeah, if not more, almost equal to what I've put into Monster Hunter 3 so far. And it's only been out since... When was Dark Souls 2 released? I don't remember because I got it early. Either way. I won't talk about it anymore because I know people are avoiding everything to do with it. Actually, that's not true. because the, the problem with the Dark Souls 2 playthrough is, right, that it's a very informative one in that I actually know a lot about that game, whereas I don't about this game. So that's why I'm more inclined to talk about random nonsense in this game. In the Dark Souls 2 one, I have so much to talk about the actual game, like enemies and what to do and strats, etc., that I have less time to talk about general stuff. So that's why, I mean, I like that aspect of playing Monster Hunter 3. It lets me talk about random stuff, because even though I don't know as much about this game, I'm still getting by. I've still yet to die, which I think is a pretty good thing. Cursed cats. Oh, I hate that I spawn in front of the monster. But I'm going to focus on the cats because they will all feel my wrath. In fact, you know, if the Lagombi wants to help me murder the cats, I'm fine with that. You can attack. I'm waiting for the attack first. Yeah, kill the cat. Excellent. Maybe we can make some kind of peace tree until all the cats are dead. No, nope, no, he's just, he's raging on everybody. He's almost dead, so I should probably just kill him. Get away, cat. Oh, I hate trying to hit cats with these. Oh, there's one dead. And he might have just killed that one. Yeah, he did. Excellent. Right, now we can get back to our eternal battle. Oh, so close. I thought I'd have time because it was so long since he last attacked. We'll just take a little mega potion here. It'll proc before I get hit, so that's fine. I might be stunned now, though, because I got knocked over twice. Hmm, not. I'm surprised. Right, we'll hit him with everything. Hit him with everything, rather. Are you going to come towards me? Let's try and do this. Come on. Oh, Well, that was a waste, but still. Now he's going to charge me. Of course he is. He just had to throw a bit of ice first. So I could go back to the random story I was going to talk about, but let me just focus for a second here until he dies. There's more cats! We're going to be charge the cat. Excellent. Charge again. Make sure he's dead. Kill him before he can lay eggs. Cats lay eggs, right? Well, these cats do, because they're clearly not of this world. Die. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Chacha having a brawl with one in the distance there. This will hurt. Oh, no, it won't because he missed for some reason. Charge me, I dare you. a boy. Or a girl. You could be a girl. Yeah, you keep on doing that. I noticed that that cat is coming, but... I'm not focusing on him right now. Could you stop doing that? Oh, he's going to do it again. That's... Oh, it did clip him. I set his leg on fire. I mean, that's something. Oh, Waving Fire's not ready, right. That was over my head. Who the hell were you aiming for? And that cat's coming for me. No, wait, no. It's going for Kyumba. Well, I got him hit. He dead? Well, you are now. Right. Let's finish off this Lagoombi and I'll get back to my story. That was about a comment I got today. Although, by the time you hear this, it'll probably be a few days ago. But There we go. There was someone pointing out that they were enjoying the fact that my Dark Souls 2 playthrough was... Not blind. Basically, it was knowledgeable. So is this going to be Mega Potions? No, it isn't. It's proper drops. Why? I don't understand. How come some of these multi-monster quests give you Mega Potions and some give you proper drops? I would prefer the proper drops every single time. Ah, anyway, this cat is going to die. You stole a I can't see him. I can't... I think I hit him or was that me hitting a shakalaka? There you go. Right, so before I go after the other one, I'm going to go to area one and get my hot drink back. Because nobody steals from me. Now, how the hell would I get back there quickly? I hate this area. Also, I should... I didn't actually mean to sharpen there. I was actually meaning to go for a steak, but I was too busy thinking about what I was saying. Yeah, so I got this comment about someone enjoying the fact that my Dark Souls 2 playthrough was knowledgeable, so I can certainly understand because this one is not particularly as knowledgeable that some people who are knowledgeable might find some of the things I do in this game annoying. Although, once again, I'll restate. I've never died in this game yet, which is better than most people. So I clearly am doing something right, even if I'm not particularly knowledgeable about every facet of every monster I've been killing. But that's not the point I wanted to make either. The point was, they also then brought up that they had been watching somebody else playing Dark Souls 2. I don't know who they didn't say. And they were just saying that they were they were walking around thinking that they were they were a badass at the game and making fun of people who die in it and then constantly dying themselves. And I said to him, 
well, yeah, that doesn't sound like the kind of thing I'd enjoy watching, but don't you feel a little bit of schadenfreude when you watch that type of person? Because I don't like playing that way. I don't like being ultra arrogant. One, because you're recording and you could mess up and then your recording failure would be on camera. But two, especially in a game like Dark Souls, it's 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 a game where you can just die instantly. Even if you're the best person at the game, even speedrunners who can finish the game in an hour and a half can sometimes screw up 40 minutes in and then have to start the whole thing again. They're not infallible. <clears throat> and I was saying that, I mean, I am watching a few other people play through Dark Souls 2, even though I've played it through myself and I'm doing my own playthrough, because I enjoy the game that much, I like seeing other people play it. Not necessarily from a Schadenfreude point of view, I just like seeing people play it. So I'm watching a couple of YouTubers play it through. I must admit, one person doing it particularly bad badly has infuriated me to the point I'm not particularly keen on watching any more parts. I'm not getting any Schadenfreude satisfaction out of it at all. I'm actually just getting genuinely frustrated at how bad they are. So uh, uh, that's probably a no-no, but I was also watching CR's brother do his first playthrough live. He's been live streaming his whole first time through the game and I found it enjoyable and he's good enough at it. I mean, yeah, he dies a lot, but he kind of takes it in his stride and just makes a joke of it, so it works out well and it's very entertaining. He's posting little VODs of it on his channel if you're interested. Mazman Zero, I believe, is his YouTube channel. If it isn't, that's definitely his Twitch one. Plus, he makes lots of funny noises. That's not something I can do. But yeah, he makes very funny noises when he dies. Why did that not full burst? Ah, because I pressed both buttons together by accident and triggered Waver and Fire. That may have been better. May have actually been better. Considering Wave and Fire's fire damage, they'll be weak to fire. Although individual shots do fire damage as well from Gun Lance's right, so. There's me saying something again that may not be true. By the way, if it sounds like I'm being sarcastic because I've had like a bad comment or something, no I haven't. The Monster Hunter series is still getting positive comments. Or informative comments. Never really any negative ones. So I'm I'm it's almost like I'm making a deal of something that isn't actually a thing, but it's more so it's something to talk about. While I think up excuses for my lack of time with the game. But I do genuinely want some opinions on armor sets please. Even if you don't think it suits my personal style of play, even if it just has really good stats for a certain other type of play, tell me, because if it's something different to try, because I want to keep variety up now that we're into high rank, and the bottom line is if I don't have any kind of new weapon or armour to switch into for a while, I'm going to be using these for the duration of 7 star quests, and there's a lot of them. And yeah, I could always go online and get skidding some other people to, you know, k help me kill a few high rank Rathalos or, or the Bracadios to get me a new gun lance, but that would be giving me more strength than I would normally have at this point in the game, so that's why I try and avoid doing that. Which I think I spoke about in the last video. Oh, he did not like that. He should probably... Oh, he's poisoned. Yeah, he should be limping quite soon, I think. Oh, no, I did not time that attack at all. Charge me, I dare you. And I know I've already brought up in the last two Monster Hunter videos, but obviously I am also wanting this to last me until Monster Hunter 4 is out, and that's a whole... Well, it's not a whole year away anymore. I keep forgetting we're, in, we're into Blood in April already. That was a cross between bloody and some word that doesn't actually exist. But it's hard to believe. When you get older, time moves faster. I swear. Come get me. Alright, you only do the one, you're not like the Azeroth. Yeah, throw snow at my shield, just you enjoy that and stay poisoned, why don't you? Nice. Now what's interesting is, just I'm kind of going back to my own talking point, would I watch someone else playing this? And I find that hard to answer, honestly. Whether they were good at Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, or whether they were terrible, in either scenario would I enjoy watching someone else play it? Um, that's honestly a tough thing to answer. So I really shouldn't have posed myself the, the question, should I? There's just something different about watching someone play a game like Dark Souls to a game like this. Maybe not the case in G-Rank. Maybe G-Rank is so life-threatening that any single mistake can ruin you and as a result that's really intense to watch. Also note that I was going straight for the cat. But I don't I don't think if, like, say a YouTuber I'm subscribed to tomorrow started doing a full Monster Hunter 3 playthrough from the start, I probably wouldn't watch it even if I liked their stuff, to be honest. I might watch a little bit, but I wouldn't stick to it. I don't, I don't think there's as much to talk about in this game, even if you are knowledgeable. Compared to Dark Souls 2, there's a lot of stuff you can talk about in that. 
And that's not true of every game, on obviously. But other games also have more going on. Because there can be lulls during hunts, especially if you're just hunting a Gumby, but... I have to do the quest sooner or later because to unlock the next tier I do have to... Well, it's either do specific quests in the list or just do a specific number of them. So you might as well start easy and work your way up. I'm curious how the subspecies of Barath is going to perform though. You're going to fall on me, aren't you? Nope, oh no you're not because you got stunned and now I need to repair after I defend. He's poisoned so he's still going to take damage. Good. Let me just come over here for a second. Leave me along alone please. I said leave me alone! No! Oh! Okay, good. And he's, oh, I got his crown. And now I'm going to let him charge me. Boing. I took off a lot of stamina. Oh, he is knackered. Poor little feller. Come on, activate. Oh, if I if I'd registered my button presses when I actually pressed them, that wave and fire would have happened before he got off. But it doesn't matter. His bum's on fire! <laughs> that is not a thing you want to... Oh, he dropped something. I'll let him limp off while I just go pick up probably a pelt. But it's high quality, so I might as well. Oh, or a large beast tear. That's not a wavering tear, what is that? Large bitter tears whipped by fanged beasts on special occasions. Clearly it was when I wavering fired into his crotch. That'd make anybody cry. So is that a new tier of item? Have I ever had one of those before? I don't think I have. I've had wavering tears, large wavering tears. Obviously they're dropped by the wavering types. So I guess that just must be their high rank equivalent for when they're not waverings, but... Still... I don't think I've ever had one. Oh. Ah, almost. Almost, almost. You're not poisoned anymore, are you? No, you are not. Got me that time. Yeah, you need to turn, otherwise your blocking would be absolutely useless. It's going to charge again. I'm amazed I haven't been stunned yet, because I've been getting knocked around quite a bit. He's going to charge right back again. Oh, blooming leeches. Yeah, hit the leeches. Thank you. And let's get a full burst off. Right in the face. Boat Slime was procking on a mini... What are the baby Gigaloxies called? Annoying Slugs. That's their new name. They've been christened. He's moving areas again, so it's time to leave. Might as well use a potion while I wait for him to move. <laughs> he ended up where the other one ended up. Not a surprise, really. Let's go and finish this. How many minutes? 22 and a half minutes. Not bad, not bad for a two-monster hunt. Still... A double ice? Is that what he does when he's almost dead? I don't think I've ever seen him throw two at once before. Right, let's reload here. Wave and fire is not ready, which is a shame because it would have been a perfect opportunity. Let's do another full burst then. Oh, and that was enough! Right, let's loot his body for everything he's worth. Lagumbi plus drum plus, okay. And we'll go have a look at their high rank armor, see if it is worth anything. A pelt plus, good. And... A pelt plus. Alright. And is there anything to mine while I'm here? Possibly. Yes there is, might as well. If I get some, what did you, what did you call it? No, not them, the, the one beginning with G. Not them either. Nope, not them either. Stop giving me advanced armor spheres, please. Ah, uh, that's okay. There, it's Gracium, isn't it? Or Glacium? I can't remember now. Either way, nothing else to mine here, is there? There might be up there, but I'll... What happens if the quest end thing happens while I'm half climbing? Because he can't stop and do the flex thing. Let's find out. I'm genuinely curious. If this breaks the game, I apologise. <laughs> you just hang there. Oh, you just hang there. Okay. Clearly the thought ahead. And let's see what quest rewards we get also. Right, we've got a lot. Pelt, Plastron, Pelt. Yeah, we got a lot, so if their armour is good, it shouldn't be too difficult. And we got their ears for chopping them to bits. There we go, new record, and also the first high rank version of a Lugumbi that I have killed. They have shown up on some of the, uh, the collection quests, but I ignored them. Yes, please, and I'll check my gamepad here to see if we have anybody to talk to when it loads into the village, which we do not. Not surprised, because that's the first 7 star tier. So let me just double check here. Yes, I mean, we've got... We have got a selection of quests. There's not actually that many. There was more in the 6 star tier, right? 
got two Volvodons, that's essentially just the lava version of the quest we've just done, although they do that poo thing, don't they, so you can't heal, which would be fairly annoying. Just a basic high rank Goobo, the danger will be a Plessy of, because it'll be the equivalent of that quest that we did online. The Jade Barath, okay, and then the Baleful Giganox, and then a normal Giganox and the Jade Barath, which is a weird mix, and then of course that. I have been told that you're very, very, very likely to fail your first attempt at that unless you've researched online what you're supposed to do because it's a, it's a gimmick fight. There's very specific things you need to do otherwise you die. Or the other thing that got suggested to me was that you do it online first with people who know what they're doing, which I may do because I don't really want to look up stuff because that would break kind of like my ethos of how I'm doing this playthrough. But I wouldn't mind maybe doing it online with other people first if indeed it is a fight where you're, bas you're basically guaranteed to lose your first attempt because you won't have a clue what you're doing. So do let me know in the comments if I am right about that. I'm just looking to see if there's any high rank Mugombi gear. It does not seem like it. Well, none that I care about anyway. What about the switch axe? No. Right, well let's check the armour. No, that is not the armour. That is the armour. Forge armour, chest. And we want the... Where is it? Oh, it's only tier 4. This will not be worth my time. Which is the higher... Uh, 40 defense, right? What do you have on you? Expert plus one, heat resistance minus two, cold res plus one, evade distance plus three. So that gives you more invincibility frames then? Or does that just mean you travel further? And then lasting power plus two, not sure what that is either. Uh, but regardless. And it looks the same, obviously, because it's only the G rank gear that's better. Actually, I didn't compare it to what I'm wearing, but it won't be as good. Almost certainly. Toggle display. That's not the display I want. How do you compare it to the. Oh, I pressed the wrong button, that's why. There we go. Yeah, so I'm currently at 70 defense and it's got 40. I mean, even if you look at some of these other ones, there's nothing that's on par with the the Rathian stuff. There just isn't. Other than, well, not even the pink Rathian stuff. Is the Plessy of stuff? Nope. And that's the high rank Rathalos stuff. It will be once it's leveled up as well, but obviously I don't have access to the materials I require for it because I don't have access to high rank Rathalos yet. Annoyingly it lowers recovery level rather than improves it, but it's very focused on fire attack and attack, which I like a lot, and, sh and fast sharpening, which is always helpful. And of course then we also do have the Brachydos mail, which just looks badass. It's got even higher defense. Yeah, because oh, actually no, it's, it's on par with the Rathalos stuff. And that's all I have access up to rarity 5. Yes, I don't know. I don't think there's any armor I can switch into, which is disappointing, although I am open to suggestions based on... You know how I play at this point, don't you? I do use long swords on occasion. I did for a long time. I'm more suited to Gunland, so that's kind of why I've been sticking with it. Once I get some good high rank long swords, I may go back to it, but that just remains to be seen at this point. Anyway, thank you for watching. I apologize if you're only kind of sticking around for the Monster Hunter series. That I'm... They're few and far between, but I am making them last until Monster Hunter 4 is out, and I am currently... More addicted to other games, so that's why they've kind of been on the wayside a bit. But look, I'm still playing it. I'm still making progress. We're not done yet. That's for damn sure. Thank you for watching. Ta-ta for now.